Hey, how's it going guys? This is DevBird here. In this episode, we are going to take the Undertale features and put it into our game. So we're going to have pretty much a clone of the Undertale dialogue system in our game. And I'm going to show you some of the features that we're going to be having. So we're going to have some sound going on, and then eventually we're going to have some, uh, his face change and whatnot. But in this specific episode, we are going to just do sounds, and the next episode, we're going to do some more stuff. So let's uh, get started, and let's start with the character profile. So obviously, we're going to need um, a sound for that. So let's go to our character profile, open it up. And we're simply going to make a public audio clip and call it my voice. Cool, and so let's go to our character profiles and we'll see that once it updates and compiles, we have a voice, cool. And so I'm just going to create some profiles here. Name this one Sans. profile or a picture for him and I have a voice for him too. I don't know which one it is though. It's this one. Okay and then I'm just going to make one for Papyrus. Okay cool so we have the characters set up. And now we need a way to activate these sounds in our scripts. First of all, we're going to create a audio manager. This way in the future we have a in the future we have an easy way to activate sounds. Um, so this can be used in any of your other scripts too. So first of all, we're going to create a singleton, and the way we do that is we're going to create Audio manager, the static of the auto manager, and call it instance. Then we're going to create a private awake. And we're going to check if the instance is equal to null. And if it is, then we'll uh, set the instance equal to this. And then you can also do some other stuff like else um, destroy the instance if you want. Um, this is just in case there's multiple instances, then uh, it'll destroy the one that's the duplicate, basically. And cool. So now we need to make a public audio source. And call it audio source. And then we need to make a ver or a method that will play sounds for us. So we'll do play clip, and then we'll pass in an audio clip. Call it clip, and then we'll do audio source dot play one shot, and then we'll pass in the clip. So this is basically just a utility for us to play any sound that we want easily. And then we're going to go and let's uh, put it on our manager. So we're going to find where we put that audio manager, drag it in, and it's going to want audio source and currently we don't have one. Um, you can put it on anything, let's create an audio source. And drag that in there. Cool. And so now we have to play this sound somewhere. And where do we want to play it? Let's uh, go to our dialog manager. So here we have our dialog manager, and we can get rid of this. We don't really need that anymore. Uh, so where do we want to play this? We want to play this every time we type a letter out. And so this is a perfect place for that. 
right, so now we can call the audio manager since we created a singleton of it. Let's go audio manager instance and it'll recognize that. And we made a method to play a clip easily. Now it wants a clip, so we're going to go to info dot character dot my voice. And so now it's going to take the information from here and then see what character it is and then play the voice that is there. And so now that that's all set up, we just have to create a new dialog. Let's call this Undertale Test. We have a lot of tests. I'll probably clean that up later. We'll just do two. And so now we're gonna do sans and papyrus and say, hey, my name's sans. How is it going, guys? My name's papyrus. What's happening? Alright, with that, we'll uh, drag in the new Undertale test. And we'll play it. And there we go, we have some sounds going on, and we have the icons going on too, and name, and everything like that. You can adjust the delay so that it sounds better, maybe you want it a little bit faster. Um, it sounds a little bit too slow, but you can adjust that later in your own time. And so that's how you make sounds for our dialogue system, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see next in next episode. That's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.